a little bit more. Now, if I have Na, this is combined flux of species A added by Nb. This is combined flux of species B. Okay? If I have, suppose I have three species, species A, B, and C together in the system. The flux of A combined with flux of B combined with flux of C is called total flux or summation of Ni. Right? So how many, how many species you have, no matter how species you have in your system, you add them all. You just take the flux of each species and add them all. You get sigma Ni equal to Na plus Nb plus Nc. Okay? Na, according to this derivation, is equal to rho A V A. Nb is supposed to be equal to rho B V B. And same thing for Nc. Again, all of these are vector. So therefore, N is supposed to be vector. Okay? Rho A itself can be written as rho times omega A. And rho B would be rho times omega B. Rho C would be rho times omega C. Okay? You can take total concentration out. Rho here represents two, two meanings. First, it represents total mass concentration. It also represents density, total density of the mixture. Okay? So if I take it out, inside you have rho A, or omega A rho A, I'm sorry, omega A V A plus omega B V B plus omega C V C. What is this? This is the average velocity, right? You take velocity of each species, weigh them according to its own mass fraction. That should give you average velocity V. So as a result, you get sigma Ni equal to rho V. This is another, another one. So you have rho V, you have rho A V A, and you also have rho A V. Three confusing terms. So you need to understand rho A V A is combined flux of A. Rho A V is, diff, um, is a convective flux of A. And rho V is a combined of the combined flux, summation of combined flux. Okay, 
So now you have combined flux equal to diffusion flux plus convective flux. Diffusion flux itself can be written as rho A V A minus V which is also equal to minus rho D A B del omega A for binary system. Okay, as a su summation or as a summary. From this equation, if I rearrange the equation, you can get J A equal to N A subtracted by rho A V. But V itself, according to this relationship, according to this relationship, you can rearrange the equation so that V should equal to summation of Ni divided by total concentration. Right? From here. So if I'm going to replace that in this equation, V is equal to sigma Ni divided by rho. So you have Na minus rho A by rho summation of Ni. And rho A over rho is, more, is mass fraction omega A. So it is equal to Na minus omega A summation of Ni. For binary, binary system, you get JA equal to NA minus omega A, NA plus NB. Okay? You can also rearrange it back. Na equal to Ja plus omega A Na plus Nb. Okay? So that means this term itself can also be considered as convective flux. If you compare this equation, and this equation, you see that combined flux of A equal to diffusion flux added by convective flux. So this term can be thought of as convective flux as well. And if you use binary system, JA can be represented by using fixed law it is minus rho A DAB del omega A. Any question up to this point? Was it confusing? Now, if you are okay with that, then let's add another. 
let a little bit more okay everything I wrote on this side of the board are in mass basis you should be able to convert everything here or represent everything here in molar basis as well as I said molar basis is more convenient for us to use okay so in molar basis you have combined flux equal to diffusion flux added by convective flux convective flux alone if you represent it by molar basis instead of using rho AV as, I, as we discussed earlier convective flux in mole basis should be CA V star how we come up with this would be exactly the same as what we did for mass basis just change how we count instead of counting mass you count the number of moles you count number of moles of A passing through the screen simply thought that A cannot move passing through the screen by the action of the current current sweeping the A pass through the opening and you counting how many moles so how many moles you have depends on concentration of A and velocity of the screen of the stream itself but in this case velocity is represented by average molar velocity so instead of using V we will use V star okay for diffusion flux in molar basis we use capital J A star instead of small j we use capital J also S star there the reason we ask star will be discussed later but this is simply just a notation the combined flux in molar basis we use capital N so normally capital letter will be used for molar basis star itself represent how we take the average without star average will be taken based on mass fraction with the star average will be taken based on mole fraction all right so j a star if you look into theory and you count how much a move faster than the average remember if you look into velocity of A and see how much it moves faster than the average but in this case instead of using more I mean in, instead of using mass calculated average we will use molar average instead okay this is this term will tell you how much A move faster than average velocity you multiply by concentration of A in this case in mole you get flux diffusion flux again for binary system you can also use fixed law fixed law can also be developed for molar basis for molar basis fixed law can be written as J A star equal to minus total concentration in mole times diffusivity or diffusion coefficient and gradient of mole fraction the terms are the same just represented in basis of mole instead of mass and diffusion coefficient DAB in that board and in this board would be the same because by itself it has unit of meter square per second it has nothing to do with either mole or mass 